Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm 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 a model. I'm um, you know, <laughs> I'm hyper local celebrity and international model and singing harpist Sam Hickman. Do you want to pass yourself in your household mirrors and go, ooh, who's she? Have you been in a low-grade depression since March because nobody has looked at you and clapped in such a very long time? Do you live in your thoughts and you'd like at least a small escape of me putting on makeup? Well then welcome to Makeup for Harpists 3. This time, it's personal. Bonsoir, it's the evening before. I have washed my hair and waited exactly one Gilmore girl. And now I'm going to put some setting lotion into it and then put it in some, 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 some pin curls. Well, here we are. Okay, well, it's a start as you mean to go on. So grab your shawl and put it like a bib so you don't ruin your clothes. We're starting with a primer. I'm gonna do it like the Instagram girls do. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why you do it like that. Because you just have to rub it in anyway, but here we are. This primer, good or bad? <sighs> okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna underpaint, stick a foundation on top, do the eyes, and then, um, We'll be out of here in no time, gang. I'm starting with the light. Oop. We're starting with the cream. The cream product first. And then we'll move on to the liquid. We just take our damp beauty blender and we blend it. Sure, why not? Okay, now we take our light and we just do the same thing. I'm not really like... I'm not really sure what the first step was. Okay, well now we're gonna do the exact same thing. With a... With a very white. Now we're gonna go in with the dark shade. Be prepared, be prepared. Be prepared for this to turn out badly. Be prepared for this to be potentially very embarrassing. Be prepared for you to look orange. Um... It's happened to me. It could happen to you. Let's go. Let's go. And then bop, 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 bop. And then down around the jawline. Let's do some here as well. And now I learned this the hard way. Blend immediately. Don't let don't let it cuz this will dry. Cuz this will dry on you and then betray you. Absolutely betray you. As I learned the hard way. Don't stop to take a picture and be like, haha, look, I'm contouring. Just just get in, get good. Get in, get what's what good, and and get out as as soon as you can. See, look, it's orange. Oh, I think I've done this bad. Other side, it's too late to go back. We're aiming for not embarrassing, but definitely uh visible. Well, that turned out really nice. That that's a disgrace, but we can we can fix it. Anyway, now we go in with a really dark color. This is where it gets dicey. Now, whoop, bye. Fundamentally, that step does not matter. Though not that this. Fundamentally, that step does not really matter because you're gonna put a foundation over the top of it. So. I love to take my foundation on a brush so that we get even coverage and then I slap it in with the sponge. And that's, that's show business, that's glamour. And then just slap it in with the sponge. Go a little further back, although the hair will come down and every, all sins will be forgiven. Um, you know, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to, I don't have any powder. I ran out of powder, um, so I have nothing to, to powder with. Only like, hoping, hoping, you know, the, the promise of a new tomorrow. 
I don't know what it is, but for some reason my inability to properly keep a keep a swingy thing from not swinging. Like this, this has been out the house one time and it's already just falling apart. Like my life, like my life, my livelihood, everything I aspired to be before this. Here we are. Don't you dare. While we're here, every take the the one that I, the one that I use. Guess which one I use. And we're just gonna go back in and kind of secure the the idea of where everything is. And then I've started like curving it a little bit at the bottom, which I like, and um, kind of filling it in as if it's a triangle rather than a line. Sure, why not? And we're back. Now we have to do the eyes. Let's do something fun with the eyes. I'm gonna take this, which again is, um, has this gone anywhere? This has gone places. This is, this has traveled. The, this, this hasn't gone anywhere. This, this is poor craftsmanship. Um, <laughs> funny, funny, I'm so funny. Let's find a, find a brush. That'll be crucial. Oh, let's do an eyebrow first. Yeah, why not? Do an eyebrow. Eyebrows have not changed. It's a pencil. Sure. Take your Studio Fix powder and powder down your lat, your lids, your lids, so that you got something for it all to blend into. Hell, let's just um pop it other places. Mm, this does not look good, but it doesn't matter. Do I want to do this or do I want to do a spooky? A spooky lip. Now let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going into the nude. Um, you won't. You won't follow this. Okay. Now we're gonna do a kind of purpley color. Let's get some of that purpley color in there. And then what I've started doing, which I did not just do, I'm just doing like straight up instead of out because the winged liner goes out. Okay. And then we're gonna go into the deep color. There we go and then just blend up and out. And you're blending into all of the stuff that you've already put on your face. Incredible, incredible. Right, does that look good? Eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, let's um, take our little flat brush and do a, let's do a light color in the in the inner crease, as per usual. I'm not throwing any curve balls this year. Not throwing any curve. Imagine if I was like, wow guys, I have come to talk about my year while I do my makeup. And this becomes a therapy session for me. Um, mm, do I have anything I would like to say? No. My childhood. Great, sure, and then blend that. Just to marry the the matte colors with the with the glittery things that you've just put on your face. Now I'll take your skinny brush, that's skinny, and we're gonna put some brown under the eye. <sighs> really just sort of be quite outlandish with it. Because if your face is like mine, you can take the paint. I'm taking this again for the bright white that I that I enjoy and just popping it under the brow. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Let's take this blending brush again if I could ever find it. Um I'm holding it. I'm holding. <laughs> and then just, you know, do that and it'll be fine. Now we've done that. Let's do a winged eyeliner. <sighs> you don't need me to tell you how to do a winged eyeliner by this time. But with, with, you know, with the amount of practice you've all had from last year's annual makeup tutorial, you should all be absolute experts at doing a winged eyeliner. I'm trying a more subtle winged eyeliner this this time. Did that work out? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay. And then the other side. 
It'll do. It'll do. Okay. Now, while that sets, let's do a blush. This year I spoiled myself by buying myself a, a blush, a blush palette. Not even just one singular bl blush. Not even just one, not even just one singular brush, blush. Br not even, ugh, never mind. Not even just one singular blush, but multiple, multiple. And I'm gonna go like this. Um, you don't need to know which one it is. You're not gonna do this. Um, thoughts on this blush? Honestly, 10 out of 10, really enjoy it. Really enjoy it, really enjoy it. Is this gonna be too pinky? Maybe, maybe. But it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. The stakes are low. The stakes are low. The chances of you seeing people are even lower. Okay, now let's curl the lashes. Curl the lashes. Curl the lashes. Definitely curl the lashes. I think, I think I want to curl the lashes. I think I'm curling the lashes. Okay. I'm curling the lashes. Lashes. Now, if you ever find yourself on a television set where you are not the star, but they do offer you hair and makeup, but it is during a pandemic, so they can't really do your hair and makeup, they can only give you things to do your hair and makeup, request lashes. Because if it's a good production, they'll buy expensive ones and they cannot ask for it back if it's on your face as you leave. So that's where these lashes are from. Thank you, BBC. We, I'm using Duo. I'm using Duo. I'm using Duo. And then this is like an eyeliner pen um, with a teeny tiny, with a teeny, look, I can be like an, I'm, 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 are you influenced? You're getting sleepy. <laughs> I think that's so funny. I've been alone for too long. Okay. And then we take it and we just, and we just brush it along the tip. I learned this the hard way with this lash glue because, um, this is quite a, a substantial lash glue, I would say. Um, because I pulled off several eyelashes the first time I used it and, um, I just sort of went straight out the bottle onto a, um, pair of lashes and then just couldn't get it off. Oh, what does it matter? What does it matter? Let's put on some mascara while we're here. This one is from Benefit, and my uh, and my brother and his wife bought it for me for Christmas, which some would say is like a sign, um, is like them trying to tell me something. But I refuse to uh, listen. Um, but also, it's very good, so I'm not complaining. Is this sticky? This is sticky. Okay, let's go. So, lashes, just sort of go into it with the idea that you might fail. This might turn out poorly. Everything you've worked for may be in vain, but it could all work out beautifully. Like right now. Well, that didn't go very well. That did not go very well at all. There you go, there you go. Oh, va va voom, am I right? Lips next. Um. This was all covered last year. Mm -mm. Well, it's not great, but it'll do. And now it comes to the most important part of, of the process. Karaoke. I have a brush. Now we just have to take everything out. I have my little bag to put everything back in because everything goes back in the bag. I do look like someone's mother in a photo where they were like, she was beautiful during the war until she died. And then the moon people took her. Wait for it, last one. <sighs> Incredible, okay. And now we zhuzh to check that I haven't left anything in. Um, and now we have to um, break it apart. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush for this. Um, you'll use a brush in the end, but Fingering it, f fingering it, fingering it will help. Same, honestly, same. Okay, now that we've zhuzhed it enough, um, let's just brush through it. 
The waves will start to form. Give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. <laughs> give, give it, are you giving it a second? I'm using a rolly brush, which is good because when it gets stuck, you can just roll it away. And then this is what I like to do now, is just mist the thing, wave it around so it's not too wet, and then just go back in and you'll get the, the hairspray working itself through the hair. Wow, and then we spritz with a, with a setting spray. Put on a highlighter. I may have gone too, too hard on the cheeks here. This is probably a little bit too excessive in blush, but it doesn't really matter because I am, again, stunningly beautiful. I don't have anything, uh, I don't have anything, uh, any final remarks to say except, um, drink, en enjoy responsibly with friends. No, actually, no, we can't say that this year. Enjoy alone. Enjoy alone or with your extended household, depending on your uh, rules and situations that you're allowed. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy in a park with the, with your exercise buddy. You know? <laughs> anyway. Goodbye.